All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. And today, of course, as usual, uh, the only bullshit videos I make on my channel anymore, <laughs> because I really don't have time to sit down and plan a proper video, is these Forza Dawn videos. But people seem to enjoy them. People seem to enjoy me trying to sort of attempt to uh, get these Porsches now, which, which is pretty much what we're getting from these Forza Town events, and that's exactly what's going to happen today. I'm going to go ahead and hop on this, and as you can see at the bottom of the screen, we got to get a legendary Porsche 959 if we win the championship. Pretty easy. Now we can get three wheel spins if we do three drift zones, or get three stars on three drift zones. Don't know if it's the same one. I could probably do the same one. I don't know. Somebody said that the last time, I think, when I was doing... Was it PR events or something like that? I don't know. When I was, try when I was trying to get three stars on them, uh, someone said that I should uh, pretty much just do the same one and it still works. It doesn't really matter. Either way, uh, the main thing here is what we're going to need to get, and that's the Porsche 959. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that. Win a championship in a 95... Or to get the 159. Or the 959. God damn it, I can't talk. It's not an Alpha 159. It's a Porsche 959. Let's keep this going. I'm going to go ahead and start set up a championship. I don't know where to go to set up this championship. I'm going to try to choose like the shortest possible races ever to get this done as quickly as possible. So I'll be right back once, I'm, uh, once I've started these so you guys can see what's going on. And just like that, with the power of editing, I'm on my final race. <laughs> so I've had three races to do. I just didn't bother showing you guys the first two because it's just boring. I just had to pretty much race. But this last one, I'm going to talk a little bit about some stuff. Uh, what is the RS doing? Either way, Porsche 959, very, very close. I'm going to end up getting it after this race. And then uh, I'll try to do the wheel spins. The wheel spins are also, again, kind of interesting to do. And all I have to do is just get, like, um, what is it, three stars in, in uh, drift zones. And that's pretty much it. That kind of seems very, very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. And uh, try to see what we can get from the wheel spins. Also, I'll use the 959 as well to drive around and try to get the three stars with that thing. But uh, yeah, I am thinking about adding another game to the channel. The only deal is with this game. My God. Taking this proper off roading wasn't really the best idea. This is very good on trails and stuff like that, on dirt trails, but. This proper off-roading is not made for these for these rally cars, especially hitting loads of loads of stuff. It just puts the car off. All right. Anyway, I'm thinking about bringing another game to the channel. Now, I don't know how this is gonna be because this isn't really a racing game, and I know this channel is sort of based a little bit more around racing and stuff like that. But there is a game that I've been playing quite a lot of. And uh, that is Player Unknown Battlegrounds, and it's very, very fun, very fun game to play. And I wanted to add it to, the, to just the game on the channel because right now all I'm doing is I play Forza every now and then. Once I get like a good mod for uh, for a set of course, I'll, I'll add that on, and I'll just record myself playing a little bit of a set of course. And then again, every now and then, I'll just like record like a Need for Speed video, and that's pretty much the extent of the games on my channel. And it's not really that many. I know that this is, like I said, like a racing game sort of channel, but I'm having fun playing this game. It's fun to try to get myself to do like like funny videos of this game, which is what I've recorded recently, and uh, I could edit it down and turn it into like a funny video. You know what? I'll do it anyway, and then I'll see what the reception is like. I'll see what everybody thinks of the game and stuff like that, and then I'll, it, like, if nobody wants to see it, then I won't upload it. Um, and stuff like that, but uh, usually whenever I upload stuff like that, loads of people that, uh, that just enjoy me for me and not just for my content, like me as a person and like the funny videos and all that sort of stuff, doesn't matter what game it is, those people will obviously say, you know, I want more videos like this, I want more videos like this, but uh, there's our 959. Uh, but uh, then you have those other people that aren't going to watch it, but it's 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 a funny game, you know, it's, it's funny to... To see what goes on in it and like just the funny moments of that game. If you guys have never seen Player Unknown Battlegrounds, look it up. It's basically like a H1Z1 slash DayZ without the zombies sort of um, sort of thing. It's like it's basically just like a uh, a Hunger Games sort of thing, and it's it's honestly very very fun to play. So I'm gonna go ahead right now since we got the 959. I'm gonna go ahead and try to try try to get 
three stars in these drift zones. I'll try to do this one first down here and then see if that counts. And I'll try to do it again and see if it counts again. And if it does it, and I'll just go back and forth and then we can get there our three wheels pretty easily. What else do we need to do here? Um, that we could try to get. We can get the 30 lumberjack skills and a warthog. That's pretty easy as well. I'm not gonna do that on camera because it's kind of boring. All I have to do is just literally run over some tree stumps in a warthog, and that's it. Um, and then perform 10 burnout skills to get 45,000 XP. Again, that's pretty easy as well. All I have to do is just do some burnouts, and I'll probably do that in the 959 anyway. Let's go ahead and change to it, and uh, I'll take it out and try to drift with it and see what it's like as well. At the same time as me trying to get the rest of these Forzaton um, events done. So, over to Porsche, or Porsche, I'll go all the way to the 959, and look at this thing. This was engineering genius back then. I also, I didn't realize this was all-wheel drive. I thought this was actually going to be a rear-wheel drive. I forgot that this was all-wheel drive. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult to do burnouts and to do anything. All right, I'm here with the 959. As you can see, I've already attempted it. It didn't go out too well. I can't get 80,000 points. Why is this so difficult to get 80,000 points to this thing? It's rear-wheel drive now. I swapped it to rear-wheel drive. And it's still so difficult to get 80,000 points. Every time I do that, and it slides out, I lose all of my speed, obviously because I have to stop. And then getting back up to speed is a pain in the ass as well. Come on, somehow, 10,000 points here, 12,000. I can't do this thing! This is a terrible car. This is such a shit car for this, why did I choose this thing? I just wanted to, t to test drive this. I don't know why I decided to take I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I have to do this three fucking times as well. It's just not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. I hate this car for drifting. It's terrible. It takes forever to change gears. The handling for drifting is just terrible, obviously. It's I know it's not made to do this. I also have to dodge traffic. That pisses me off. I'll just cheat my way to it. You know what? Uh oh. Please don't. Okay, we're at 60,000 points. It's not bad. I think this is the run. Come on. Okay, that's 80,000 points. 83,000 points. We got one. We got one done. You know what? Screw this zone. Let's go to the other zone. Hopefully I can get something else done a little bit easier. Maybe, it, maybe an off-road zone. That'd be kind of interesting. I think that'll be a little bit easier. This one here, 60,000 points. Can we actually do that one? Let's give it a shot. I don't know if I can because I actually need a lot of speed for, for some of these corners on this. Oh god, this is going to be terrible. So we got one done. We got one of them at three stars. You know what? I'm just going to do this one. If this one is easier to get done, then I'll just go ahead and do this one again. I'll try to see if I can do the same one again and again. Uh, I'm going to go to Achievement Tracker. Where is this thing? This one. Let's go ahead and make this as a favorite. Alright, so we got one done. The line is pretty much a third of the way up. The force is done. Drift works. Let's go. The ground is a little bit more moist here. So my wheels get slightly less traction. And I just threw that in so late, and I can't catch it. Like, I I tried to... Over, oh, okay. How the hell did I... How do I spin this out? It The steering angle in this is awful. It's like I have no grip on my front wheels. Oh, shit. Go back. We can actually get this thing. Oh, what the hell happened there? Oh my god. I can't, I can't do this. Fifty-four thousand points. Oh my god. This guy is just perfectly underwhelming. It's just slightly worse than what I need to get this done. I could get like 79,000 points on the other one, and this one I can get like 50 fucking 9,000 points. Why is it so difficult for this guy to get points? 
Why is it so difficult for this guy to get any points? Okay, there's no cars that got in the way this time. Okay, trying to spin out. I know it's kind of difficult for this guy not to be able to spin out, but... Okay, 60,000 points. That's good. Right? Does that count? Force of Thought and Drift works. Make it count. That's it. It's there. Went up again. Now let's go back the other way. It's gonna be even worse because I'm just kinda going uphill. Bit of lag. It's all good. Okay, don't go off. Why is this easier? Why is this easier? I don't understand why that... Why was that easier? What the hell? <laughs> why is why was that so much easier going uphill? Alright, either way, does that count or do I have to go to a different one? Nope, that counted. Oh, thank god. <laughs> this 959 is terrible for drifting. Again, I know that's not what the car was made for. But still, it's uh... It's terrible for drifting. Let's do our wheel spins. Uh, let's see if we can get anything redeeming out of this episode instead of uh, me getting anger issues. Nope. Oh, we could get a Mini Cooper and uh, Sunrise on addition. Nope. And a Range Rover Supercharged. So far, we've gotten some amazing prizes. Oh, we got it. Yay. I'm rich. Sell it for 50,000. That was terrible. Wheel spins don't not, just, they just don't like me anymore. Well, either way. Can we do like a nice a nice video about the 959? It's not bad to drive, okay? It's it's definitely not bad to drive. It's a fun little car to drive. The power is enough for this thing, especially as an all-wheel drive. Like there's no spin in it. I know that it's supposed to be very grippy. It's supposed to be very fast in a straight line. I know this. I know that this is what the car was built for, but it's just not good for drifting. As much as I wanted it to be. And I wanted to use this guy for drifting. It's not. I can't catch it. There's no grip in the front wheels. I cannot counter steer for me to be able to catch this again. As earlier as I start like steering in the opposite direction, I cannot counter steer to catch this thing for it. For some reason. It's just it doesn't like it. Anyway. Like I said, it's a decent car to drive. It really is. It's just not made for drifting. Anyway. That's going to be it for today's video. Porsche 959 is now in the game for everybody to get uh, with the Forza Town event. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy driving this thing. I think with a little bit of power and a little bit of uh, tuning on this thing. I don't know, really know what exactly can we engine swap out of this thing. But uh, if you can do some mad engine swaps to this, that would be amazing. Because I feel like this would be pretty fast. I think the top speed of this should be like 200, like, I think it's like 202 or something like that, if I remember correctly. From any videos that I've seen, I think this can break 200 miles an hour. Just barely, but I think it can do it. It's fast. It's fast, though. It is fast. Okay, no grip, though. No grip, no grip. In the trees. There we go. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.